now the core blocks also extends uh, things like the images that we do have here so if you go to the styles of the image you'll see that we actually have more options we have for example we can make it a bottom wave or a top wave so you will see the curves along the image and if we choose to make this full width you'll see that styling is actually applied and you could enjoy it as you make designs of your website right so the last bit of blocks we're going to be looking at are those that come from other plugins uh, for example i have woocommerce installed here and you'll actually see that uh, woocommerce has its own section here that has a number of blocks that are inbuilt so let's say if i chose to get a product category list i'm able to have it here and i have options of either choosing it as a drop down or a list i can even show the empty categories for example this is what's there and it doesn't have any of uh, the items in it so i can show it here i can show the count if i need to i can give it a hierarchy or i can take that out um the other that we can do the, the other blocks that are available in woocommerce uh, having a featured image or product search or products by tags so we can even have one that uh, if let's say we have reviews we can order those by review and we can showcase them on the front end now of course my cat is, my my product catalog is still empty so some of these will not work but it works best as you make sales as you do a number of things these blocks become really important there are a number of plugins that have built everything they are about basing on the new editor which is Gutenberg so you can actually see some of those as if you search for blocks you're able to find a number of blocks so one of my favorite is uh, core blocks uh, which, which is by GoDaddy and if you install it um, it comes with a number of blocks so I'm also going to install another plugin which I which is called a simple rich text blocks and this is a plugin that I built myself to allow me to add a more rich content in my work so it's actually here and uh, it's called a simple HTML rich text for block editor so if I install it now it gives you the options of adding subscripts superscripts citing having the small text marked inserted and deleted tags which do not come by default with the block editor so i'll just activate that and i'll show you what it does and then i'll also activate our core blocks uh, plugin here so when i go back to the editor of my page and just choose to reload this with this we are able to see the power that comes with a uh, the block editor in terms of extensibility so for example in my paragraph here when I select just this text I am able to use the little plugin that I wrote to make this a subs a, a subscript and I can choose this and maybe add them in to become superscripts uh, so we have superscripts there I can choose this and make this uh, uppercase if I need to uh, similar to what we have in uh, in editors like uh, illustrator or photoshop we're able to change our content into uppercase and much 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 quicker so this can be marked can mark it if i need to so you see it's highlighted i can strike through um, i can also add it as inserted i can change this and make it uh, a deleted text so deleted text so you'll see it sort of highlights it as though you it's being struck out but if you look at the at the html of this if you right click this and then go to editors html you can actually see that the subscript has a tags of sub superscript sub super tab uh, then this adds an uppercase span we have mark as the html tags insert delete and this is how uh, traditionally or how the HTML semantically is added for, for these 
uh, content to be marked marked up. Uh, so we are able, for example, if we wanted to do something like this person was in third position, the RD is actually supposed to be a superscript. So we can just throw this at the superscript and we have our content working out <coughs> as we, we should be having it. So that is from uh, the little plugin that I wrote. Now, most of these plugins that come with their own blocks will also come with their own categorization of the blocks. So for example, we see the core blocks categories. Um, we see the galleries of core blocks right here. And we also see that there are some other blocks that are not galleries. For example, you can add an author uh, biography. You can have an alert uh, that people can see when they click. You can have uh, a display of a menu, a price list. You can show a gist from GitHub. You can show icons. You can have media cards. You can have a pricing table, for example, like this one that you're seeing here. So you're able to click and buy and change all the content here. Um, and in the same context, you can also have other buttons. You can highlight, do a post carousel. You can do posts themselves. Uh, you can add a shape divider to your different sections of your page. And you can even add social profiles uh, depending on where you belong. So I'll just look at uh, the posts. And you can see from here, this had an image. So it magically comes with the image, the date, the title, and the content itself. While well, this other block will uh, skip the image, but have all the other content. However, we can also use the code blocks. Now, code blocks comes with a number of other blocks. Let's say the gallery type of blocks. So you'll find that it comes with a carousel, it comes with masonry, it comes with a collage, it comes with a stacked blocks, offset, and these can be added. So for example, if I choose to have masonry, uh, I'll just add a number of, uh, of, I'll upload a few more files. So I'll add some other items and images into a gallery that will allow us to, to see this in a, in a better light. So you'll see, I'll add this to the gallery and now we have over six images and I'll update the gallery. However, now you can see, depending on the height of the images, we are seeing that this is short, this is long, and it gives us that Pinterest kind of feel. So we can increase the gutter. That simply means the space in between the images or reduce it. We can make rounded corners of our images. You can see that effect. Uh, we can choose to add a light box so that when someone clicks on those images, they pop up. Um, and they can be seen and we can even add captions to them. So we can choose a, a, a different caption style, whether it's light or dark mode. Uh, we can have change the image size to something extra large or large or even medium, depending on what we like. So of course the traditional CSS comes up. Uh, we can add separate classes. Uh, we can remove the top spacing if we need to be or remove even the bottom spacing uh, depending on how that styles up with our theme. So I'm just going to save this with the light box option with captions and with it being a masonry uh, gallery and I'll reload this on our front end. When I come to see our gallery right here, when I click on an item, you'll see that it actually pops up and we can actually see the others. So it works out well. Uh, here, uh, maybe I, if I didn't like the masonry type, I'm able to change this and say maybe it should be a collage and you see it changes style. Uh, or we can say, <coughs> um, let this be a carousel. So you'll see that it actually scrolls from right to left. So you still have the options here working out for you. Uh, you have the buttons uh, that are there, the arrows and we can even choose to add the buttons. So what we are going to do to this carousel is that we're going to spread it to be full width. Um, we're going to leave a responsive height. Uh, I think we'd rather keep it at 400 pixels. No rounded corners, no thumbnails. And then what we're going to do is uh, change the slider settings. 
and select it automatically move after every three seconds you can pause on hover it's draggable it's free scroll uh, it should have the navigation arrows we should give the dot arrows also at the bottom for clicking sake so that when someone clicks uh, they're able to move and we can align the cells uh, if we really need that to be uh, yeah so what we're going to do is uh, we're just going to choose update here and then come back and reload our page on the front and you'll see that these images span all across uh, the page and as we click on them we're able to scroll uh, we're able to use the little buttons at the bottom and we didn't write any lines of code so the plugins that we installed come with more functionality for us to choose and to use and you can actually see that you can even grayscale all your images or you can give them a sepia feel you can saturate them uh, you can dim them down you can give them a vintage look so Gutenberg or the block editor gets better because most of these features are being added there for you by someone who has who knows a lot of coding and they've made it possible so the extensibility of the block editor is worthwhile to look into you can look for blocks that are doing the what the core does but are extending it a notch or are taking it a level higher so i would encourage you to find those block plugins that are wonderful for you that you can use and you can make your work even better along the way so thank you for watching this series i hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions or if you have any blocks that you would like me to look at uh, if you'd like to see more or you'd like to see a particular blog focused on leave a comment in the comment section and give a thumbs up to the videos that you think have been very helpful to you thank you so much i enjoyed myself doing this uh, video series uh, i hope to hear from you bye bye